God damn it, those last five minutes were so freaking beautiful, I must say. It just told you, it takes that one person for you to kind of fully express how you're truly feeling. It takes that one person to say, look, do you feel this right now? And tell me why you feel this. It takes that one person, and Sue was that one person that allowed for Kaku to actually truly say how he's feeling, allow him to express his regret, and tell him, look, don't worry, you did nothing wrong. Stop feeling this regret because you did nothing wrong. Don't freaking worry about it. And in the end, even now Hulk confesses her love for him at the end. It just kind of leads to a happy ending. Plus, it even just leaves you knowing there's still work to be done because behind that smile that Kakadu has right freaking now, there is still an area of sadness. She wants him to smile for real. And right now, that he isn't true because there's still sadness behind there. She still needs to save him from that sadness. But... Holy freaking Christ, this episode, it, it broke me. That's the main thing I really do get from it. I'm still tearing up for speaking about it because there were certain points in this episode that were so beautifully handled. Those last five minutes were amazing. Those last five minutes were magnificent. They were masterful. The VAs, they did such a freaking amazing job just portraying that scene. It was so beautifully handled from the animation to the actual VAs themselves. I can't fault it in any way, shape, or form. I was... I've rewatched the scene a fair few times to kind of fully grasp what I need to say for this review. And each time I was still crying because it still hit me. I was like, damn, they're doing such a freaking good job right now. Just, I don't know what to say. It's a freaking good job. And it just kind of leads you to this idea of hope that yes, they still need to save him from the true sadness that he's feeling. But he fully understands that he's wanted, that he shouldn't feel his regret because he did nothing wrong. Yes, he feels that he did because he thought it was a pain having to be with his mother to go to the hospital but Sue has said it perfectly he goes that's natural we all kind of feel those emotions sometimes don't freaking worry about it. you did nothing wrong I was like Sue <coughs> that man holy freaking Christ that man he just deserves a literally a Nobel Peace Prize of best history boy literally I don't think an award in the history of the universe not even a synonym in the thesaurus can tell you how much of a great person this man is literally this that man he 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 is magnificent literally he is a true testament to how a man should act he was magnificent him really just giving up his future with Nauhal to actually save someone he truly cares about that allows them to kind of smile for 10 years on you can just see how much of a valiant man that man is for him to do that, I'm just like, God freaking damn it. I just, I love you, man. You're just so freaking good. It's really the main thing I do get from him. He's just so freaking great. You just, you can't help but fall in love with him because he's so freaking nice. He's such a caring person. And he's just, he's amazing. But the main thing really as well is that scene with Ueda as well. Holy freaking Christ. I've never felt so much anger again in one entire episode than when Ueda appeared after Naho asked Kakuri what does he want for his birthday. When she appeared, I was like, get out, <laughs> just leave. Don't ever come back because you just ruined that whole entire scene of happiness, of her finding out what he wants. And then her just saying, oh, don't worry, I'll buy the bag for him, stop. And I was just like, no, <laughs> no. And when Chino appeared with Azu as well, I was like, do it, do it. But she didn't do it because she knows it's not worth doing that to someone like that. She's not worth the trouble going through that. And she just says, look, just stop it right now. I was like... Because we will tell we will tell everyone else that an upperclassman is bullying an underclassman. And I was like, yes, that, that right there, Tina, you're best, you're literally best girl. Because you just, you just do it for me. I'm, I must say, you just really do. But Reed, the main thing is at the beginning of the episode, we we find out that Sue actually has a letter. In this letter, he actually says that he doesn't want to go down the path that the future future sewer went down, so just do everything in your power to go down the path I went down. And then he tells Naho, don't freaking worry about it, we'll, we'll save Kakadu. And then he says, look, we need to find out when his birthday is, because in the future we actually don't find out his birthday until after the day. So we've got to pester him to find out his birthday and then what he wants. We actually find out it's September 14th. It's really, really easily found out. He does actually say it straight away. He does kind of, he's like, why are we asking him? But he does actually say when his birthday is. And then after that point, it's asking what he wants. The two main, th the two main presents really were Nauhoz and Sewers. Those were the two main ones because that is, those ones did impact the plot itself because 
now holds one water sports bag, which then led to Ueda appearing. Ueda being complete. Well, it's a can't say in the dictionary because there's no, there's not, there's not a word in the dictionary to describe that woman because I feel so much anger whenever she appears on screen. And then it's also Sue's one because Sue's one is he asks him what does he want, but he doesn't know because everyone else has already asked him. He doesn't actually know what else he wants. And in the end, he says, "I'll just get me." bouquet of flowers and it's like, as a joke because in, even at the birthday he's like I just I, I asked it's a joke Whoa, why do you buy a bouquet of flowers because everyone else is like why do you buy a bouquet of flowers because then it's allowing for Kaku to actually say to Naho how he truly feels about her and I was like in the end he does confess his feelings for Naho and after that point you kind of just realize what a valiant person so it is because in the in the note it does actually say that I didn't I didn't do a good job of looking after them, but so please can you look after them so actually can live ten years on still smiling. So actually can realise their feelings for each other. I was like Stop. You're doing it. You're being you you you're being no man's sky best boy. You're literally a perceivably generated world in which there's ten trillion quadrillion, whatever the number is bigger than infinite planets and he's still the best boy in each one of them literally just he just is like every single planet is named best boy sewer because sewer is best boy i was like this this man you just can't ever not say he's the best boy he's just so freaking valiant he's so freaking nice even in that last scene when he just waltzes on in and just basically says don't hang out with them tell me how you just tell us how you truly think because we can't laugh with you if we don't know how you're feeling and he actually just attacks the problem head on he just says have you ever thought that you wanted to die i was like he actually attacked the problem head on and basically just asked him truly how he really feels does he really feel like this and why does he feel like this and it doesn't allow for kaku to say what how he truly feels what's really going down but it all stems from the fact that Sue actually asked Naho, do you have anything on the on the 23rd of September? Because there's actually this date that's actually really crucial. And on this day, we actually find out Kaku actually attempted suicide. He actually attempted suicide by actually hanging himself with a towel. And he didn't and he didn't actually die. He actually was hospitalized for a while. And then Sue says, maybe because the future is changing, there actually might not be a suicide attempt in his future. What happens is, it's explained that actually he goes out with his friends from Tokyo and he actually explains that about his mother that he wants to die and everyone else just laughs it off as if it's nothing. And after that point, after that day, he does actually attempt suicide and actually gets hospitalised. But really, it's that scene where Naho walks out and sees Kakuri and she says, I just, I want to know what I need to truly say, what's the right thing to say. And I, I completely understand her character. Even in this scene where she tries to say, just don't go, just don't go. And then he goes, why, why not? She can't say those things because she's got the courage right now to actually kind of express truly how she feels, to kind of express what she has to say. She doesn't know really what to say in those kind of situations. She does try her damnedest. She doesn't have the courage to kind of reply and actually kind of have reason to what she's trying to say. She hasn't got the courage right now to do it. So I completely understand how she just freezes up in the entire situation because she does not have that courage right now to actually kind of express what she must say. She doesn't She doesn't know what to say. She doesn't know what the right thing to say. She doesn't want to say the wrong thing and Kakadu kind of feels wrong towards her. She doesn't want him to do that. She just doesn't, doesn't know what to say. That's the main thing I really get from it. And that's when Sue just basically just says, truly, do you ever feel like you want to die? And I was like, damn, they actually really did handle that situation really freaking damn well. It was really beautifully handled, everything. And in the end, now Hall confesses her love for him. I was like, damn it. Damn it. Really, that's the main thing. Damn it. It was beautiful. That's the main thing I really get, do get from it. This episode was amazingly beautiful. And even that alarm bell went from her brain as soon as when Naho went into the room and Kaku went whoosh. And then she said, what's with the whoosh? And he says, oh, maybe if I, maybe if I jump out of it, I can actually fly just like Superman. And then he goes, oh, if I was just like Superman, I can save my mum. I was like, oh, God, don't, don't. And it just goes to emotional gut punch off that point. I was like, oh, damn it. Last five minutes just, just completely broke me. I, my heart is still hurting right now. It's amazing to really get from my heart is actually still hurting from that scene. It was beautifully handled. So yes, with all that said, I have been the driver. If you have enjoyed the video as a whole, you do leave a like. Do leave a like because it does help me quite a bit. If you have enjoyed my content as a whole, you do leave a sub. Do leave a sub because it does help me quite a bit. But with all that said, I have been the driver. And I shall see you guys later. Bye.